Hello everybody, welcome back to an all-new episode of Manga Weekly, a weekly podcast where two nerds sit back and attempt to recap various manga series two chapters at a time. I'm your host, James, and joining me today is my co-host extraordinaire, my friend, Logan. Hello. Hello. I also want to say we are not sitting back. I'm sitting up front. Well, that's true. to professional and get the microphone quality. <laughs> that sound awful. Because if I sit uh, back, this is what it sounds like. Yeah, that's it's not great. No, that's probably not good. So now I have bad posture, and it's all because of you. I am so sorry. No, you're not. What are we doing today? Recapping Bleach. We are recapping Bleach. That's right. Your favorite uh, laundry thing. Uh, I want to say detergent, laundry equipment tool. No, no. What do you use bleach in, James? I don't use bleach in literally anything. Pretty good in smoothies. Oh. <laughs> Actually, no. I take that back. We use bleach at we use bleach at work. Yes, we do. Of course. Um, no, at the other at the say, other you, one. You, yeah, you don't clean at that work. No, I don't clean there. Uh, I do clean at the other one. That's all I do. But yeah, you, I mean, it would it would be a cleaning product. Product. There it is. There it is. Yes. Um, today we're recapping chapters Clorox. five. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks chapter one and two. Um, Bleach chapters five and six. Yeah. And we're going to start with Binda Blinda, chapter five. Binda Blinda. Binda Blinda. Logan's a little tired and a little hungry, so excuse him if he. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little hangry. Yeah. So I might get a little pissed. <laughs> so. I need a Snickers. Um, get us caught back up here. Well, the last thing we saw was uh, we found out that hollows are they're people. Mm-hmm. They're just they're souls that were never they never had so so cool, whatever it's called. They never they had the ritual to send them to the soul society. Mm-hmm. And turns out, Orihime's dead brother yeah has become a hollow. Yeah, he's this giant half snake, half man looking thing. Yeah, it's pretty it, pretty cool. He is currently attacking. Uh, he looks like the Medusas yes. from God of War. Yeah. yeah. Just without the... The hair. The snake hair. No, and the titties. <laughs> <laughs> he does have some pretty long hair. Yeah, he does have... Not but, snake hair, though. Yeah, but that, that, that that's where we are. They're being attacked. Totsky, her friend is... But, so yeah, Totsky's down oh, for the Orihime count. Oh, is dead. Orihime is dead. This is her soul. Well, she... she that's up. That's actually wa- or, uh, talking. Uh-huh. Yeah, and she's her- not dead. She's just her soul has been separated from her body, like Ichigo. Yes. So, uh, we start off. You've got Ichigo standing in between. He's like he's not attacking Snake Dude and Orihime. Yeah, and he's hoping that he'll just run away. Yeah, um, and that's when he sees Tatsuki laying down there. Um. And he sees somebody else laying over there. And he's like, who is... And then he realizes, Orihime. But she's, 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 she's right behind wants. me, you know? And he turns around, and that's when, you know, she's like, oh, I knew it was you, Ichigo. And then we get a flashback. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we see them out in public, uh, Rukia and Ichigo. Yeah. But Ichigo's in his Soul Reaper outfit. And or he's not he's not supposed to be able to be seen. Right. Well he's he's saying that he doesn't want he's like hiding behind something because he doesn't want anybody to see him dress like that. Yeah, because Rudy is like, why? Why are why are yeah. you skulking like yeah, that? Yeah, and she's like, Fool, do you really think normal people can see a soul reaper? A soul reaper is a spiritual spirit yeah, spiritual. Intensive. I don't know why that sounded really weird when I said it. Like if I I was saying it wrong. Mm-hmm. Um but you can only be seen by other spiritual entities. And then she's like, and then, uh, so then we cut back over and he's wondering, wait, how can Orihime see him? And he notices the, the chain, the soul chain. Yeah. That's what, that's what they call it. And uh, then we get homeboy, Isn't snake it dude, obvious? right behind dude. Breath she's probably stinks real bad. Right? Or do hollows have breath? They have breath. So he probably stinks real bad. 
He's all up in dude's ear. Like that time when Merle burped in uh, Zach's, uh, <laughs> right behind Zach. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Um, <laughs> uh, but he says uh, she's a spirit. Uh, but is I'm sorry, but isn't it? Uh, wait, where, where am I see? Isn't obvious. Oh yeah, up here. But he says uh, Orihime is already dead. Already dead. And uh, An Ichigo, yeah, he he swings the tail over. Ichigo blocks the tail, but he knows it's got scales on it. And his blade can't cut him. And he goes fl- flying through the, uh, the house. out of the house, right? Okay, so I'm a little, I, I get, I got a little confused on these next couple of, in this. So is he, can he just float? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what he's doing here. Yes. Okay. So, but it, it just made, it, the skidding, like he's skidding to a stop here. Yeah. In midair. Yes. But he's. He's in midair. But st- He's pulling something with him. You see how what I mean by well, what I mean by pulling is like, like if he was on the ground, and he did this on the ground as he skidded back, the dirt and junk yes. would be coming out. What is all this fucking shit that's flowing up, flying up in front of him here? It's cool art stuff. Carry on. It's just confusing. It's confusing because you think way too much about stuff. I'd like to. This is what I, I imagine this fight going on in my head as I'm reading this manga. Everybody's like, "Oh, the anime is better because you really get to see the fights and all this bull crap." I can see the fights really good in my head. That's why I, I like manga like this that have these kind of fights and they, um, like they, especially like you know Black Clover is really good about the mm-hmm. detail and stuff that they put into some of the magic and everything. So I'm really trying to picture this fight in my okay, head. Okay, imagine this as he, it's just, just wind. He's being pushed so hard, it's just okay. wind just going... Whoosh. Okay. Because, um, he, because he's trying to grab onto something, so he's just grabbing air. Also, did he get hurt here? Yes. Is that what this is? bleeding from his head. Okay. Uh, Probably, I'm guessing that because the tail hit him so hard, the, the, the blade maybe hit him? Hit okay. him in the head. I can get down with that. Um, so, hollow dude, hollow man... Her brother. It's like, you talk tough, but you're far too slow. Is it so shocking to see that Orihime's soul has been forced from her body? And then yeah, he's like, huh? Ichigo Kurosaki? And he spits something out of his mouth. Like acid. And it lands on his sword, on his hand, and it starts burning his hand. And then here comes the tail again. Hits him down towards the the ground the ground right and here comes rukia still in her pjs by the way not her pjs still in pjs <laughs> case of stolen pjs yeah and orihime is like one you know like up there wondering about each go as well and she gets snatched up and he's I, I guess he's going to maybe try to carry her out or something. I'm not sure what he's going to do here. Maybe he's going to finish the job or whatever. I, the, I think what he was trying to do at first was stop her from trying to leave the Oh, house, maybe, but then he, yeah. Because the, but then she started to bite him, Yeah. and then he picked her up. Right, so she he's like, uh, have you really forgotten about me? Like, it's he's like, it's me, or he may. And then she says, Sora? And so then we cut down... To the road, where Ichigo's, uh, I guess, a little passed out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Rukia wakes him up, and he's like, dude, stop yelling. And she, she's like, you've shamed Soul Reapers everywhere today. Yeah, because like, this is the first time this has ever happened. Right. Yeah. But he's only a, he's only fought two. Yep. Right? Two. From what we've seen. Mm-hmm. And this one's different than the other ones. It's bigger. Has a brain, it seems. Yeah. Um, he And he says that. He's like, he's not like the others. He, I hesitated. Because um, he knew him. Yeah. And so Rukio just lays it out there. She's like, all right, that's fine. That's fine. You hesitated. Cool. All right. But just let me just remind you a little something here. If you lose, he's going to eat Orihime's soul. Mm-hmm. So that's it. She's gone. Dead. Your little friend's gone. Okay. 
And then we go back up to well, Hollow actually, Man. Actually, what would happen is if he ate her soul, she would turn into oh, a into hollow. Oh, so he'd have to kill her. Kill yeah. her, too. Ooh. Come on, Ichigo, get with it. So we cut back up there, and, and they're having a little moment, her and Hollow Man. And he's like, she's like, is it really you? Um, and so he's like, you haven't forgotten. And she's like, why are you, why are you hurt? Why'd you hurt, uh, Tatsuki and Ichigo? And he's like, you know why those two tried to tear us apart. And so, um, I actually really like this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, he's like, after I died, you prayed for me every day. I watched you and it made me so happy. I was dead, but your prayers eased my suffering. But a year passed and you became friends with that girl. Mm-hmm. After that, you prayed a little less, you know? Then you got into high school and Ichigo shows up and you stop praying for him, for me altogether. And he's yeah. like, you, you, you'd still talk to me. But it was always about homeboy. All, always about Ichigo. Yeah, and he's like, it hurt. It hurt me, man. So it's like I saw myself fading from you a little more each day. Um, and she's like, no, that that's that's not it. And he's like, I was lonely. It was unbearable. What do they sound like in the anime? If I, you know, um, is it like a monstrous I voice saw or fading a little, little more from your heart each day? So it's kind. Of, it is kind of monstrous yeah, but at the same monstrous. time humanly as well like how- it, it sounds yeah it's not like maniacal or like super like monster but it, it's like it's gruff it's yeah. gruff it's like it's like I was so lonely right it was unbearable sometimes I just want to kill <laughs> it's literally like that oh okay and right as he's saying this Ichigo flies back up he turns around and he gets uh whipped by the tail again. That tail, man. And so he whips Ichigo down. And he's like, Come with me, Orihime. Come back to when it was just us. And she goes, Why? If you were lonely, you should have told me. Why'd you have to hurt Ichigo and Tatsuki? The brother I love would never do something like this. And he scoops her up. He gets pissed. Yeah. And he's like, I'll kill you. How do you think I became this thing? It was all your fault. I'll kill you. And we see Ichigo swoosh. cuts off the tail. He finally gets rid of his arch enemy. Looks like he cuts the hand as well. Yes, he cuts the hand off and the he, he chops the tail into bits. Yeah, cuts the hand off, gives the tail a couple of slices, cut, cuts them into little hot dog pieces. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, big brothers, you know why you're the firstborn? to protect the little ones who come after you. What kind of brother says he'll kill his own sister? Even a monster shouldn't say that. And then he starts getting pissed. And he's like, why do you stand in my way, Ichigo? That's it. That's into chapter five. Mm-hmm. I really was, I was really like, this would really suck reading it on a weekly. Because I felt like there should have been one more, like, one more page. You know, I don't know. I just feel, I just felt like as I was reading this, that did not seem like the end to me. Yeah. I really thought as I turned the page, I would get. I knew I was closing in on the end, but I was like, surely there's something else. Like I, I was just not expecting to flip the page and it be the that'd be it. But anyways, uh, we get a little funny. Um, uh, Rukia climbing up the yeah, the Rukia climbing the little pipe to get up there. Um, so then. Um, we get, we go to, let's, we'll move to chapter six called Mm -hmm. Micro Crack. These are some weird names for these chapters. I mean, do they, what's, do they mean anything? I don't know. Binda Blinda. I don't think so. That didn't mean anything. I don't think so. Micro Crack. I tried to, I tried to, I tried to figure out what it, what it could possibly relate to within the chapter, but I couldn't think of anything. What the fuck is Micro Crack? Anyways. So, this is uh, Hollow Man, mm-hmm. thinking... Sora. Um, Sora, yeah, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Sora from Kingdom Hearts, right? Yeah. That's where he went. 
that's the soul kingdom hearts is the soul society <laughs> that's where you go when you're finally to oh my god it all makes it sense, all makes sense yeah. uh so he, when i was 15 my sister was born she was more like a daughter than a sister though because apparently their parents were not great parents yeah they were, um they're a true monster than he is now they would i don't know what they would do to these kids but he says uh oh he says the silence the baby's cries with beatings mm-hmm. so he would hide her and quiet her cries so they wouldn't hear her. on march in march when he was 18 uh he took his three-year-old sister and and left run away yeah uh and after that it was us against the world just the two of us he he raised orihime and protected her um he's like no one else can have her at least of all you ichigo and he's like you will never have her and he lunges at ichigo and he uh ichigo puts up the sword Mm -hmm. like a like a like a toothpick yeah right between the teeth teeth. um he's like as if captain overbite orihime belongs to no one and this is, I got Mortal Kombat vibes from this part. Because he says, she's mine. Her soul is mine. You remember that part in, uh, have you seen the, probably haven't seen the Mortal Kombat movie, have you? Yes. The first one? Yes. When, uh, at the very beginning, when you get the Liu Kang dream. I was talking about. And he's his like, soul his is mine. soul is mine. Yeah. Mine. Yeah, I love that. Um, so he's like, uh, I live for her, but she won't live for me? Very well. Then she will die for me. And he goes at it. Goes at yeah, her. goes after Orihime. And we see Chomp, right? And he bites. He him. bit the shit. He go. He clamped down right on her shoulder. Um, but she's hugging him. She's just got her arms over, like around his head. And you see the blood, you know, splattering like it, it, down. It, it it hit her pretty good. Yeah. And he's, he's like, or he me? And she's, you know, hugging him. And she says, I'm sorry. I wanted to share them. Fun things at school, the happy stuff, the things I liked, the people I liked. Um, she's, you know, yeah, I did pray every day, but she thought it was wrong, right? She didn't want him to see her sadness. Yeah. So she would tell her, or tell him about the good things, the, her friends and all that kind of stuff, so that um, he wouldn't suffer for her. Yeah, he wouldn't. Because be. he was obviously, you know, already, I mean, he's dead, so. Yeah, she's uh, probably pretty bummed about that. Yeah. Uh, but she, you know, says she didn't realize that it was making him feel lonely, and sorry that she hurt him because she loves him. And uh, she falls, you know, she falls down on the ground. And Ichigo's, you know, it, it, homeboy Hollow Man looks freaked out. Uh, Ichigo's, you know, obviously kind of pissed. Looks like he's about to lunge towards her. Rukia and then shows up. There, here's Rukia. She's like, it's not too late. She can mm-hmm. still be saved. Right. So day's not lost. So she says, the Inga no, ku- Inga no Kusari. Chain the of chain faith. of fate is still attached. As long as it's connected to her body, she isn't really dead. And I can use my keto to save her. So he's like, uh, <laughs> he's standing over her, Hollow Man standing over her. And she's like, uh, Rookie is like, you're in my way, step back. And he's like, I knew that you stopped praying so you wouldn't worry me, but I didn't want you to stop. When you were praying, your heart was all mine. And uh, Ichigo's like, what are you looking at? The hairpin, that was a gift from you. She told me. It was the first gift you ever gave her. She still wears it every day. And then he says, it's the same. Those who die and those that get left behind, they all feel alone. Mm-hmm. You were so caught up in your loneliness that you forgot about hers. And, or uh, Hollow Dude's like, I thought she threw away the hairpin. And 
he's like he starts standing up and Ichigo's goes like Whoa, what do you uh and we just see <laughs> something breaks mm-hmm. and it's the mask yeah he breaks the mask off his face and we don't really get a look at his face just kind of the bottom part the mouth part mm-hmm. but uh I will say, it shows you his face in the anime. Oh, does it? Yes. Hmm. It, I, met, I forget, did they ever show his face actually in the full... Like, do you see him in the manga? I don't think so. In the anime, you do. I'm just going to flip ahead and just see, because I don't think you do. Oh, you see a little bit there. Yeah. Okay, right imagine the that on the snake body, and that's what you have. Hmm. Exactly the same. Interesting. So, Ichigo's... Like, why? Why did you do it? And he's like, it's all right. If I stayed as I am, I'm going to lose myself again and, you know, try to hurt He's going to get hungry again. Yeah. That's why now, in this moment of sanity, I want to pass on. And Ichigo's like, why? And Ruki is like, his decision is right. Hollows can never go back. Does that mean... They can never go back to being... Being human. alive, yeah. Uh, so let him pass on. It's all right. Rookie addition out that knowledge. Uh, it, it basically explains if you kill a hollow, they 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 get cleansed. It's, right, it's like Conso, but murder. Right. So they go to the Soul Society, but but they're like in. It's more of like a heaven thing. I'm assuming, right? No, it's a Soul Society. But if you if you think of it in like a heaven and hell situation, Soul Society is heaven. It, it's a, it's a nice place for souls to. I'll explain it like this. Live, I guess. They never really explain it in this. Hell is a special kind of. Like, you have to be the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst to go to hell. Mm Mm-hmm. If you, if you're, if you're just a good person, or do you just, even if you did a little bit of crime, you'll probably go to Soul Society. But you had, but, but most people, if they're bad enough, they don't want to go to the Soul Society. They want to stay and they want to keep doing bad stuff. So that's right. why they become hollows. Hmm. Like I, said, I don't think they have to explain it in the movies at some point. I don't think they ever really explain it that much in the shows. Let me ask you something. Have you watched, I think I may have asked you this already, the live action Bleach? No. You haven't watched it? It's very different. Okay. From the I may watch it. You're going to spoil yourself. You think so? Pretty bad. But it's different, you said. To an extent, it's different, but you're still going to get spoiled from characters and some pretty specific plot points. Mm-hmm. Like, So the, don't? The, you're pretty much going to see the main villain of this arc. Really? Yes. So when, how long should I wait before I there's gonna, there's gonna, watch it, you think? There's going to be, a, okay, the next arc is called the Soul Society arc. Mm-hmm. When you realize that you are getting to the Soul Society arc, that's when you can watch it. Okay. There's going to be a point where it's just like, oh, okay, everything changed. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, I can actually, I can check the chapters and I can tell you when. Okay. Um, so then he says, uh, Hollow Man says, goodbye, Orihime. Mm-hmm. And we get, get a little flashback here. So we get to the, their, the day, their last day together. The day that he gave her the hairpin. Yeah. Um, she's saying, we had a fight that day. And for the first time, we ate dinner without speaking. And I sat facing the wall, which is really weird. <laughs> um, yeah, go sit in the corner. Yeah. And then he went to work. Uh, and she still didn't say anything. And she's like, why did it have to be that day? That because one, that's, that's the day that he died. Um, but she's like, maybe it wouldn't have made any difference, but she's always, she's always regretted not saying anything. And so right here, she wakes up and, or maybe she wasn't. A, she didn't say, cause every, every day she would say before he left, have a, have nice, a nice day. day. Yeah. And now she's getting to say it. Yeah. And so as he's passing on, he's like, sort of like crumbling up and, and going somewhere, uh, soul society, um, she gets to tell him to have a nice day, and we do get to see a, a bit of his face there, yeah. and he has a bit of like a little smile on it. 
and then he whoosh, and they uh, they kind of watch as he goes up, or his kind of goes up. That's why that's why I kind of was like, this must be sort of the heaven, yeah, you know, because I mean they. It's uh, obviously it, it's, it's not a society a, up, right? You know, and then how? Yeah, long. right. Got you. Um, and so that he, you know, each goes like he's gone, and um, he says, "Your wounds, they're better mostly." Anyway, they. She's like, "They don't matter." I have a ton of questions I want and to, boop. and then she gets uh, neuralized by she the Men in Black. Yep. Um, and this I, is what I, I was I talking about. With the, uh, yeah, it goes to comedy. How mode. it goes to those like you know, those funny, ca- the the characters are drawn w- real silly and almost like chibi. Yeah, it's, you know, it's childlike. Yeah, it's very childlike. I like when I like when anime or manga, because uh, like I said, Black Clover does that quite a bit. Um, but so he's like, "What did you? What'd you do?" He's like, "I I erased her memories, gave her some fake ones." Right. And he's like, wait. Um, and he's like, I can't choose any memories. They're random. Yeah. And so she's like, you'll see what I mean tomorrow. And we get to school the next day. And you see Orihime. And she's trying to tell everybody, no, for real. A Yakuza gunman totally came in and like blasted a huge hole in my wall. And yeah, everybody's definitely. like, come on. They got that like they got that look on their face like bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> and uh, they're they're even saying like whatever you know. And it had and he's like Totsky, it happened, didn't it? Oh, we also see our our first LGBTQ member. Of Who? The class. Um, her. Read that. That childlike mind of yours is really cute, princess. Oh, maybe yeah. Oh, not no, maybe. maybe. Oh, it's not a maybe? Not a maybe it's confirmed? Not a maybe at all. Is this confirmed or is this fan? 100% confirmed. Okay. Um, Tatsuki kind of like, yeah. And so I get now they believe her. Because <laughs> they're like, you see, you saw it too, Tatsuki? Well, yeah. She, um, you got to know, Orihime is an airhead. Daydreamer. And, and yeah, she's. So yeah. Tatsuki's not, like, at all. So. And then he's like, oh, I get it now. And he's like, you used that on my family the other day, didn't you? And, yep. And she, Rukia says it worked well, didn't it? This last panel, though, mm-hmm. with Orihime looking over, I'm assuming, at Ichigo, yeah. makes me think maybe she's not as forgetful about this night as they think. I don't know why I get that from this. It's just... I mean, it, it is... Why would she it, look it, it, at it, it? It is a look like that. I'm picturing... Like, picture it like maybe the the anime or a movie or something like that, right? This would be that moment where yeah, I, I get you. They looked that sly look at the like, over at the main character. I know what you did last summer. I'm not, she knows. She she knows. I and can. Then, I will not. I will need to confirm that you died. Okay, and that's it. That's uh that's chapter five and six of Bleach. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I love it. You 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 do love you like I do love it. You you, this is this is the point in the anime. Forget where I, pretending I, like you don't know. Yes, you you do love this. Yes, I do. Lo- I love these two chapters. I also love these two chapters. Um, if you listen back to our last Bleach episode, I think both of us were a little down on those two chapters. Yeah, not second, a lot goes on. The first chapter of that was pretty meh. The second chapter was it got better. Yeah. Um, but overall, like so far, Major it was very good. Um, two chapters, very good. Two chapters, very mad. Two chapters, and now two very good. Two chapters. So hopefully, it'll kind of stay very good, or at least good. I mean, not every chapter can be amazing, obviously. Mm-hmm. But you know, if they keep, you know, you even said, I think you even said we're in that like monster of the week. Yeah, this is this uh, is the monster of the week. Pretty soon you'll start. We'll start getting actually some story beats and some more information and everything. Yeah, that's what I'm ready. I want to flesh this let universe me, out more. Let me look at that. Yeah, I want to. I want to flesh it out. I want to. You know, um, I'd like to. I'd like a overall, like an arc. I want an arc. Not not. I don't mind monster of the week. I guess, but 
But the end of this, your three and one, mm-hmm. that's where the end of this arc. So I could, after we finish this, could I watch the movie? No. My God. I'm, I just won't watch the movie then. That's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I will probably still watch it. Like, bef- I'll, I don't mind spoiling it. Because the way we're moving, it's going to take me, it's going to take us forever. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go look at the actual chapters, chapters. Um, yeah, as you're looking, I will try to avoid a lot of silence and not, pauses. Not getting stuck up and ready and, <laughs> yes, uh, go get talk. I did like I, I did like this. I like that Ichigo starting to kind of come into his own as a soul reaper. Um, and, you know... We're fle- you know we're fleshing these characters out a little more. We're, we've we're getting some more. Knowledge. I like I like Orihime's backstory, mm-hmm. like and the that whole um her parents being like this super abusive. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. I'm glad we didn't see any of that. Like that would have been that might have been a little much, but that would be a little much. That would have been stuff that it might have been. In the anime in Japan, but that would have absolutely been cut. Oh, that, if they, that had come sure, here, I you know sure what I remember. They censored it a bit, just really? from what I remember. Yeah, we we just now they may not do that much now, but when this anime was probably airing, mm-hmm. that would have absolutely been something that it was censored. Oh yeah, that was like back in the days. This wasn't for kids, but it would have right. been like it would have been a for kids ism. Yeah, but yeah. So um, chapter you... fifty eight. 58 58 by the way how many is I, in I, this? I read through that that is actually that I, there's more after that that i forgot so it doesn't finish the art quite oh god so. really Ooh, look at these ads back here so we got an ad for one piece i'm going to read one piece you're going to i'm going to one of these days we have an ad for one punch man i'm never gonna read one punch man i'm standing by that I'm never going to read One Punch Man. I understand you. You're not going to read One Punch Man. Uh, Toriko. Heard of it. The most bizarrely entertaining manga out there on comic shelves. Toriko is a great series. If you're looking for a weirdly fun book or a fighting manga with a bizarre take, this is the story for you to read. I, I do love Dragon Ball. It says, In a savage world ruled by the pursuit of the most delicious foods, it's either eat or be eaten. I do love Dragon Ball. This looks terrible. Anyways, World Trigger. Now, I actually... So, what I've... So, I have finished reading... You're caught up. The... Oh, yeah, I'm caught up with one of the greatest mangas I've ever read. Called The Promised Neverland. It should also be stated he's read less than 10. (laughs) (laughs) Um, You flipped me off. Uh... So I'm looking for another one to try to. I want to get. I want to get caught up and just like. Be He's really reading. into comic books, and now he wants to be really. Into yes, manga. I want to be reading like 20 ongoing. You know, so you always have series. something. Yeah, and so I just caught up with Promise Neverland, and I just downloaded from the Shonen app, um, like the first chapter of a like 10 different series, mm-hmm. and one of them was actually World Trigger. It says. uh on the thing, on the thing, it's like, um, it's like something about kill. You got to kill your neighbor before they kill you, or some kind of thing. I don't know. It sounded kind of interesting, um, but I also downloaded and read. I read the first chapter of one called. I can't really. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it. Haiku. Haiku. The volleyball. Um, yeah. Manga. Mm-hmm. And. It's kind of good. <laughs> Sports so anime aren't bad. I might uh, most of them aren't bad. I might keep going. I'm gonna definitely probably keep going with that. So, but anyways, uh, I think we should. I think what we're gonna, what I'm gonna start doing, because you don't really, which you might read. You know, if you ever read manga, mm-hmm. other than what you know we're doing right here, before we get started every week, we should give a little update on where we're at. You know, mm-hmm. like ah, oh, you know, I'm. Now I'm five chapters into Haikyuu, and it turns out it's not as great. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
we're going to do that. We are going to do gonna that. You're going to do that. Mostly me. But like I said, if you ever... I will. I know. It's just a, when you when you get around to reading The Promised Neverland... Which I won't. You're, we're going to do an update on it. You know? I told him it's... I don't like I, I don't like the Goonies. Reminds me of the Goonies. It, it I, don't, had, I, I don't like demons. It has demons. It does have demons. So no, really scary looking demons. Exactly. Too. Like really scary. Fuck the Goonies. Fuck promise oh, Fuck you. Fuck demons. Fuck you. Goonies always die. Goonies never die. <laughs> uh, actually, I think it's Goonies never say die. Right? Goonies I never I say I die. I saw the movie one time. I didn't like it. How do you not like it? I don't like it. Chunk. You don't like chunk. That I know? No. Dude, you're stupid. Sean Astin is in that movie. Do you know even know who Sean Astin is? No. He played Sam Gamgee in oh, The Lord of the Rings. Okay. He's in it as a kid. Josh Brolin. Do you know who Josh Brolin is? Yes. Thanos. Thanos is in that movie. Well, I'm glad he improved. He was <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna make this about the Goonies. Um anyways. Fuck the Goonies. Thanks everybody for listening. Um, did I do the find us? No, you did. Um, we're obviously, we, we are talking nerdy. Um, you can find us over on Facebook. You can find us on YouTube. I don't think I pimped the YouTube channel once, but, and actually I think this, I think I got this set to where it goes to YouTube Yeah, as just like a, I think a I think, static I, I, picture I think, or whatever, but it. you can, um, you can, I guess, watch it on YouTube. Um, so, you know, subscribe over there. Um, uh, subscribe on iTunes. Uh, we are, of course, Manga Weekly. And if you uh, subscribe there, leave us a little review. Um, hit you know, give us give us a stars stars rating, um, five preferably. Um, but that that helps us kind of get out there a little more, you know, mm-hmm. um, for people to be able to find us. And of course, uh, Podbean. You can follow us there. Um, and. If you have questions, comments, concerns, suggestions for manga to if read, you want to tell us your um, opinions yeah. on the Goonies and the Promise Neverland, <laughs> please. Uh, actually, I, you, I, I know for the I'm Promise a, Neverland, I, I know I'm in the minority of almost all of these. <laughs> for the Promise Neverland, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Mighty Duck, and let's chat because I need somebody to talk to about this series. Um, but anyways, Manga Weekly eight one five is our Gmail. Email us there. Or, like I said, follow me, uh, Mr. Mighty Duck. You can follow Logan. He's uh, Luajli um, on the old Twitter. And until next, uh, we'll see. We'll talk to you next, next time. time. Yes, we'll see you next time.